uh, said it. What you feel about the Muda and Blazing Dog situation? So, C Mac actually was the one who told her don't mess with, with the ops and stuff like that and everything. But the problem with that is, is I see where C Mac coming from, and then there's a second side of it, right? The op coochie gonna hit harder, it's gonna hit better. And on top of well, that, it, if you. It's that danger pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir, yeah. yes, sir. But also, too, though, right? If we homies and I'm messing with your sister or your cousin, and I happen to do some lame shit, and you gotta step in, we just became enemies. It's cool if we already enemies. So you see what I'm saying? That's the, that's the messed up part about it is, is it's a twofold. If it don't work out right, I do some lame shit or she do some lame shit and everything, then you gotta step into it. I just took a homeboy and made him an enemy. You get what I'm saying? But as far as that go, that's, how, that's Chicago, bro, it's back door. Dirk ain't come up with that song, that close that back door, can't get snaked out by your homies. Nah, bro, she left her, her location on. You know what I'm saying? Why she said, told the homie that she was, told her homie, not my homie, told her homie I'm finna go over there and get my stuff and everything like that, trying to actively get this nigga set up. She don't realize she just created conspiracy. That could be conspiracy, it could be murder, assault, or anything like that. Like when Trey jumped in that car, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was conspiracy to commit murder, even though he got out. It's because you knew about a crime that's about to take place. So with that going, bruh, shit, bitch, you should have did your history. Cause this and her dead mama and all this shit, and all that talking about you smoking on sets, that's her mama name and all that. Bruh, like, what is we doing here? That, 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 little, that little ego and that little sexually charged, sexually driven shit, that's gonna get you killed. But I'm glad they broke it off. But now it get ugly because if anything happened to that man, she going to jail. Anything happened to that man, she going to jail. Hey, and that's crazy how in Chicago any, anybody could get it. You know this from everywhere. Females are set up artists. Yeah. Most wars that was all, always started way back when was over pussy. Yeah. Look at the Diddy shit and the Suge Knight shit. That was over pussy. That was one of Diddy's bitches flying in with Mary J. Blige. Getting her shit blown off by Suge. You know what I'm saying? Getting her shit knocked off by Tupac. This West Coast, East Coast beef started because of some pussy. You get what I'm saying? This is facts. This is the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm the last of the 80s, but I'm a 90s nigga. I was there, I remember it. Yeah. So it's these things that's going on where it's always over some vagina. What vagina do? It inflates your ego. You hit a bitch hard from the back, she screaming your name and all that. that I own this bitch. It's my property now. You disrespect my property, I get to come retrieve it or beat your ass behind it. So, yeah, nah. This shit, bro, it's, it's, it's just more and more. Bitches are set up artists. That's why when sometimes these bitches get killed and shit like that, I don't be feeling sad for them. So, I wanna ask, so why do you think niggas, uh, so niggas already know that females set up artists. Correct. All right. Why do we, and when I say we, I'm talking about men, Especially if they from opposite uh, factions. What's the enticement of messing with them, bro? Thrill seeking. You know, thrill is a bitch. We got amusement parks for this. You know, that, that high rise, that high tide, but also at the same time, you know for sure, you done smashed a couple of op bitches and shit like that. You didn't get caught, you ain't get greased for it. So my thing is if I'm already doing it, I'm already getting away with it, I'm already technically right. It ain't happened to me. Niggas remember this the whole time. It happened to them, but it can't happen to me. Nah, they don't think it can happen to them until it happened to them. And now you sit somewhere. Sometimes these niggas get hit and get spanked, but can't say it out loud. So they got to hold that in. Look at FBG Cash. The way that nigga died a month before, the same shit happened to him, he lived. He didn't wisen up. That's my guy, but I just got to tell the truth. Yeah. These niggas don't wisen up. I can tell you right now, I can guarantee you, without even talking to Mood or anything like this, I guarantee you it's a bitch who tried to do some shit like this to him before, and he ain't wisen up. Niggas truly believe it can't happen to them until it do. Until it do. Wow, bro, that's crazy. That's, and Cash, and, and that's the crazy part about the, uh, 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 FBG Cash, he just left Chicago, got away, living I in Houston. I told the nigga don't go there. I told him, I told him, flat out. Don't go back. Don't go back, bro. Don't go back there. Don't go back there, man. I think that might have been my last text message because, like, nigga, don't go back there no more. Leave that shit alone. You, you ain't doing nothing but inflating the ego. Yeah. Why do I need to go stun on niggas? Why do I need to go shine on bitches? Just so I can get my dick wet. There's hoes everywhere. You ain't lying. There's hoes everywhere. And you, hey, hey, you in bad, you in bad, 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 bad bitch city in Houston. 
You ain't had to go back. You ain't even need to do all that. You could, you, you had so much freedoms. Like I try to tell niggas of California, you got so many freedoms, you don't even know outside of California. You don't even know about them. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if I got blessed, I ain't get caught for some of the shit I did. I could have had a felony so many goddamn times. I fucked up at 15 years old. My probation carried me all the way until I was 18. Had assault with a deadly weapon and three counts of assault. Then a couple of months of juvie came back home. They was like, don't do no drugs. Don't do this. Don't do that. Well, I never was a drug nigga. I never was a weed smoker. Never was in alcohol until I turned 21. So all that shit always been a clear minded motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But that gave me the blessing to tell niggas, hey, I'm on probation. <laughs> oh, no, nah, nigga, you can't come there, nigga. We got, <laughs> we got this, we got, yeah, I'm on probation, bro. Shit, you know, I, I, I go, but shit, nigga, we get pulled over. They already know this face. They already know I'm on probation. We had, we've been on gang files since fucking 14 years old. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We get identified all the time. Then when you leave California, they're not privy to none of this shit. They're not. So you escape there no matter what they said about you. It don't matter. You ain't got no F's on your report card, no violent felonies. Shit, get your gun. Go ahead, do your shit, run your play. It's way more money out here than it is. We're in a fucking vacuum in California. LA is one of the worst vacuums. It's so many have nots around here that we gotta attach ourselves to another fucking person in order to have some of this shit drip off and then we can go ahead and get our own. It's rare that you're gonna meet a person like me that's gonna say, this you, this your own. I want you to have your own, my nigga. I want to see you shine. I ain't charge you nothing. Hey, whenever I go here, whenever I go there, I want you to come too. Just so, in case I'm not here, and they say, hey man, why don't you come over here and kick it? I just had this happen with one of my homies. He jumped on a big platform. I wasn't there, nobody was there, but because he came with me, they hit him up. Hey, come back and kick it. So now he got his own algorithm. You know, it's shit like that. That type of play. Hey, to say the dance have uh, has a message for his haters. Thank you for the promo. Uh, in real life, I'm actually hella cool. I'm actually hella chill. Like I'm one of the realest, one of the dopest. And the problem with it is, is uh, y'all loud, and I appreciate it. But what y'all do really don't affect shit. It really, really don't. So it is what it is, man. I appreciate the promo. I appreciate the hate. I appreciate it all. But I tell you this, the love is in such abundance, bro. I get older cats, I get younger cats, I got niggas that was ready to crash out, hit me, and I just tell them, bro, if you just chill out real quick, I promise you, nigga, it's rare that a murder go down in the hood and it don't get solved. You ain't gotta throw your life away. Go live for that man, kids. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. See the messages I be getting on the Instagram and shit like that, when these niggas be hitting me up, when they be really going through it, bro, how do I, da 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 I had a nigga hit me up one time, he was like, man, cuz, I'm fresh out the pit, I ain't really got whatever the fuck and all this shit. I said, all right, cool. I said, what's around you? It's like some stores and shit like that. I said, go apply for two of them. Just go walk in and apply? Absolutely. Nigga, I'm gonna have to walk. Cool. That's exercise. So now you can't get fat like me, nigga. All right, nigga, all right. All right, cool. Boom. Nigga go get two jobs. Didn't even realize it. Within the third month, he doing better than everybody around his circle. Facts. Because you busy. If you get paid for your time to be busy, we should see, we subtracted this bullshit ass shit saying a job is bad. Bruh, if I work at a store and you come in that store with all your jewelry and all this shit, you're paying for whatever is in this motherfucker. I'm being paid to watch you. Bitch, I'm your babysitter, it's called a job. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It be shit like that how everybody want to be a boss. But did you learn how the company went? You want to own a restaurant, but was you ever a fry cook? Was you ever a fucking server? Was you ever a waiter? Was you a, a greeter? Was you any of this shit? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They always knock these motherfuckers. But bruh, I get paid. But bruh, I get paid hourly. Literally, I get paid hourly to do this. Granted, they have a time and all this shit. But now I know, if I'm here from here, you can't hurt me. I can't go to jail. Yeah. I have a purpose. We got 24 hours in a day. If I turn that 24 hours in a day and use 16 of that and just say the weekend, I'm about to chill. Bruh, I just somehow managed to make $60,000 a year no matter where in America. 60 grand a damn year. These niggas would go rob a bank and get 60 fucking life sentences. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's one, of the, one of the most telling things about men that we never do, we'll never say I failed. I'm a failure. Yeah, fact. We, we can never say that. I failed, I'm a failure. None of this shit. Because if we do, 
You might tell a bitch, you might tell a nigga, I'm worried about this, this pressure that's about to come from everybody else. Everybody else got something to say about, you a loser, you a failure, you a loser, you a failure. I'm gonna keep on failing until I win. The niggas don't know about them whack ass videos I put out that didn't do shit. They worried about the big ones. Niggas ain't worried about the weak ass nights nigga where my back is hurting and shit like that. And I managed to put out a video real quick. Oh, that was, was the one. Niggas don't know about that. They don't know how many different ventures I done tried before all of this shit. Nigga, I had a whole movie shit that I was trying to do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Part of the motivation for me doing this shit, swear to God, was because when I started getting back to doing music and music videos and stuff like that, niggas started doing weird shit. I was like, do I, do I harm these niggas? I'm like, do I harm these niggas? Nah, I ain't gonna harm them. Fuck it. I'm gonna take their spot. And every nigga that I ever fucked with that was doing that shit, I'm bigger than they are. Now they gotta wanna fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All the way even into the, to the, um, to the radio stations and shit, I was coming through talking to them. Hey, I'm just trying to get an interview just for an hour and shit like that. Oh yeah, it's gonna cost a thousand dollars. Now, bitch, I can charge you a thousand dollars because now your shit is dying. Now you need me. You see what I'm saying? Facts. It all surfaced. It's, it's a couple of ways to the building. Boss, secretary, janitor. I figure out which one. 